Hello friends, welcome to Rajesh Data Engineering. In this video, I have come up with one SQL coding exercise. In our channel, we are discussing different coding exercises which are asked in most of the FANG companies. So this is fourth uh, such exercise and the complexity level is medium. This is one of the lead code exercise and also asked in most of the FANG companies. I am going to solve this exercise using PySpark and Spark SQL. Spark SQL that is um, following ANSI SQL standard. So the same uh, uh, SQL uh, code can be used for any SQL coding interview. It can be Oracle PL SQL, Azure SQL or MS SQL Server. We can use the same code for most of the uh, SQL coding scenarios. I am going to solve this problem using functions like uh, union all, join, aggregate. I have already posted separate videos to cover uh, the functionality of these functions. In case you don't have proper understanding of these functions, then I recommend to watch those videos in my channel. Right. Let us get into problem statement. I have two tables. One is player. Another one is a championship table. Coming to player, it is having player ID and player name. I have three records. Um, there are three players. Coming to championship, I have collected the data for three years. 2017, 2018, 2019. And there are four tournaments, Wimbledon, French Open, US Open and Australian Open. And here we have given the data in the form of matrix for year 2017. For Wimbledon, the winner is 2. 2, the player ID 2, it's uh, Federer. And uh, coming to 2017, French Open, it is uh, number 1. Number 1 is Nadal. So this is how we have to understand this data. And coming to output, I am expecting player ID along with player name and number of titles one by each player. Coming to first uh, player, Nadal, number 1. Here we can see Nadal won French Open and US Open in the year 2017. And he won French Open in the year 2018. And he won French Open and US Open in 2019. Which means overall he has won 5 titles. So for Nadal it is 5. Similarly, there are 3 titles for Federer and 4 titles for Novak. This is the output. Right. Now we understood the problem statement. And what is the expected output that we are very clear with that. Now how we can approach this problem. I can give you one tip. Whenever you are uh, appearing for coding exercise. As soon as the interview question is given. Our mind will start pressure, uh, start feeling the pressure. But never allow to feel the pressure. Because in order to solve any coding exercise. It will take some time even for experienced people. So you have to keep your mind calm. And you have to start thinking certain approach. So until you are getting certain uh, uh, certain concrete approach in your mind, you, know, you should not be nervous. Take your time. Uh, don't try to solve immediately within one minute. So that is not going to be possible. Take your time to analyze the input data and expected output. Then try to split the entire problem statement into multiple smaller steps. And you can uh, your mind can start thinking. Mathematically, we can start thinking You know how it can be solved, how it can be. Uh, the end result can be arrived. That we have to think. Then later we can convert those steps into uh, SQL or PySpark uh, programming. Right. In order to solve this problem, basically we are having many different approaches. In my exercise, I want to show two different approaches. And uh, I am going to show you how you know, we can visualize, we can, uh, you know, mentally we can uh, visualize uh, the intermediate steps so that we can achieve the end result. So actually there are different ways. So our mind should um, have, you know, proper visualization, uh, uh, visualization concepts we should have proper analytical thinking. As long as you are able to visualize properly, you will be able to solve the problem. Right. Coming to uh, this uh, problem, I am going to show one approach how we can visualize and how we can approach this problem. Coming to problem statement, this is my input data. And here I need to find, you know, I need to count, you know, how many, num how many times the number 2 appears, five, uh, 3 times. And how many times number 1 appears, it's uh, 5 times. But the thing is, if uh, these records are, uh, provided in separate records, so, uh, then you know we can easily apply aggregate function. Then uh, we can uh, find the output, which means you know this uh, number two, that is you know one record, and this number two in another record, and this number two in another record. Similarly, we are splitting all the values into vertically. Currently, the data is uh, splitted and given in horizontally. When we are going to convert this horizontal data into vertical, then we can apply group five function. This is a uh, first thinking we have to get. And how we can split that and I have to convert these into separate rows. So for that, you know, there are uh, different approaches. One thing is, you know, I can use a separate select statement. Then I can, you know, uh, split this data into separate uh, result set. 
then finally I can combine so that I can convert this horizontal data into vertical. So in order to split that what I can do is I can use a simple select statement. So here what I am doing is I am just selecting year and tournament and uh, year Wimbledon that is the first output here and same year and French Open that output goes here and year and US Open that goes here, year and Australian Open that goes here. And even we can uh, select only the tournament, even uh, year is not needed, but uh, just for um, you know better visualization, I have given year also. But even we can select only one column also, it is going to give the output, right. Now using a separate select statement, you now I am going to write four different select statement, which is going to split my data into this form. Once it's done, then I have to combine this data so that it is going to be considered as a single uh, result set, single table, kind of single table. So for that, what I can do is I can apply union or union all. So there is a difference between union and union all. Basically union is removing the duplicates. So let's say whenever we are going to combine this entire data, what happens is you know, for um, uh, year 2017, you know, we are having two records, number one. So here 2017 number one, and here also we are having 2017 number one. So what uh, union will do is it will remove the duplicate. So these two records will be uh, combined and it will be presented as one record. So it is going to give a different aggregate count for me later. So in order to avoid that, I have to use union all. That is one of the very important step we need to think. So in my next step, what I'm doing is I'm just combining all these uh, output into one uh, result set using union all. Once I have combined, then this is going to be my uh, result intermediate result set. Here you, we can see 2017 number one, 2017 number one. It is retained. It is not removed. Duplicates are not removed. Right. Once we have done this one, now what I can do is simply I can aggregate based on the player. This column is nothing but player. What I can do is I can uh, take you know, player. Here I have given just column Wimbledon. We can give alias player ID. So based on that, you know, we can uh, perform the aggregate group by. So simply it is going to give my count like this. Here we can see aggregate. I am aggregating based on this player. Then it is going to give number two that is appearing three times here. And number three that is appearing four times. And uh, coming to number one that is appearing five times. So this is the next step and this is the output we are going to get. Now as per our expected output, you know, this is uh, exactly perfect output. Only thing is we don't have player name in this output. But in our expected output, we should uh, include player name also. So how we can uh, get the player name? For that we have to perform join because we have a separate table player that we have to join based on the player ID and we have to consider only player name that we have to give in our final output. So here basically we are joining. Uh, this aggregated result will be joined with the player table then finally we are getting this output. I hope you caught uh, the intermediate uh, steps that we need to perform. This is how we have to visualize, we have to break the problem into multiple steps and finally we have to uh, get the, we have to uh, perform intermediate uh, you know transformations, finally we can get our expected output. I hope you understood. Now let's get started with our demo. Let me show the same in uh, Databricks environment. I have logged into my Databricks environment and my cluster is up and running and the first step I am going to create players and champions uh, data frame. So I have created it's the same data which I have shown in the PowerPoint. Here now I have created two data frame players and championship that is displayed for our reference. Here you can see it's the same data. Now uh, first I am going to show you SQL approach after that I will come back to PySpark approach. So in order to perform uh, SQL uh, approach we have to convert data frame into temp view. Now in the latest version of Spark 3.4 onwards we don't need to create even temp view or temp table. We can directly apply, uh, we can directly use data frame for our SQL, Spark SQL. But still here I am going with my old approach. Here I am converting my uh, data frames into temporary uh, view. So the players table that is uh, called as players and champions data frame that is called champions, right? Uh, I have executed just now and it's uh, create it has created uh, both uh, views. Now I am going to perform the SQL statement. So I have uh, explained to you earlier, you know, we have to split the data into multiple, um, you know, different pieces using select statement. So here I am performing that select year and Wimbledon. And the next select statement that is year and French Open, same year and US Open, same year and Australian Open. Then finally, I am combining all the result using union all. So let me execute this step so that we can see the output. One important thing is we should not use union. In case we are going to use union, then it is going to remove the duplicate records. Then it is going to give wrong count in our uh, 
final output so we have to use union all right now i have split uh, split the data and i have uh, combined so this is uh, at the end result for example 2017 you know i am having player uh, 2 for wimbledon you know these are the three records and uh, french open these are the three records so i have uh, splitted then finally i have combined so this is the intermediate output now what i have uh, what i have to perform is as i have shown in the P ppt i have to simply perform the group by operation so here i am i have created common table expression so my previous uh, select statement i have combined in the cte then here i am performing simple group by player let me execute that once it's done it is going to give each player along with number of titles one by each player coming to number two federer there are three uh, grand slams so this is how we have combined so this is our final expected output but only thing is we are missing with a uh, player name so in order to get player name we have to join so it's going to be simple operation so i'm just extending our previous um, uh, previous query so here this is the cte1 i am uh, giving intermediate result and uh, coming to i am uh, creating one more cte where i am performing this group by aggregated value once that is done then finally i am joining based on players table uh, using a player id uh, key then i am taking player id player name and grand slam count so this is going to give final output for me in the expected format so i am executing here we can see output player id player name and number of uh, titles one by each player this is final expected output i hope you understood now i am going to show you one more different approach as well actually it can be solved using different approaches so this is a second approach which i am going to show here what i am going to do is earlier i have shown you how we have to convert horizontal data into vertical but another approach even we can keep uh, uh, vertical data uh, horizontal data as it is and we can uh, using case statement we can uh, perform the addition or we can count between multiple columns so for that we can use case statement but before that what we have to do is we have to convert you know, we have to uh, produce separate records for each player let me execute this step then you will i will start explaining you will understand so in my in our original data we were having only three records now what i am doing is i am joining my players table along with champions uh, table now in case you know for any of the record you know for any of the year let's say 2017 in case we are having a record for two then you know we are adding that record for example here uh, number two it's available that's the reason we have produced one record for that combination and coming to french open you know there is uh, one record available so we have added this 2017 for this also and 2017 us uh, open that is also available so that also we have added um, uh, so basically what we are doing is you know, we are adding multiple records for each players according to you know how many times you know in uh, how many years they are appearing coming to nadal you know, he is appearing in all the three years so let me uh, show the table this is our original data set here if you see nadal number one is appearing in all the years 2017 2018 2019 coming to roger federer you now he is appearing only in two years so 2017 and 2018 so we have to produce two records for uh, number two and similarly for player three you now we are having only uh, two years 2018 and 2019 so basically we have to produce three records for player one and two records for 2017 and 18 for player two and two records for player three 2018 and 19 so how we can achieve so for that i'm using join condition in the joining condition i'm giving r condition now this uh, wimbledon or french open or us open or uh, australian open that is matching with the player id then consider that record so as a, at the end of that execution it is going to produce seven records for nadal data is available for all the three years it is producing three records coming to federer it's only two uh, two years and novak two years i hope you understood this is uh, you know one of the intermediate step we are creating now what we can do is you know, for each uh, uh, record we can just compare you know this player id and this uh, winner id both are matching then uh, uh, count that up. Uh, you know, we can start counting. Let's say for num year 2017, this uh, number one that is matching only with French uh, Open and US Open. So we have to convert this this you know this record. We have to tell the count is two. How we are going to achieve? 
for that we can use case statement in the case statement we are going to tell that in case player id and this wimbledon id both are same then uh, consider number one otherwise zero same coming to this player id and uh, french open both are matching then number one otherwise zero so whenever we are going to put that logic what happens is it is going to produce a zero for this one because these two are not matching and this is produce this is going to produce number one for this one because it is matching same this one and us open it is matching and player id australian open that is not matching so this logic we are going to put then for each record it is going to tell you know how many uh, titles won uh, by that player for each year so that logic i have created in the second step i am using case statement so the same logic whatever i have mentioned that i am applying here wimbledon equal to player id then number one other we zero and i am adding plus uh, second uh, uh, comparison in case the French Open and Play Ready both are matching number one, otherwise zero. So, same thing I am performing for all the tournaments. Then finally, it is uh, getting year total. Let me execute and we can see the output. You can understand. Execution is completed. Here we can see we are having player ID. So, Nadal, you know, he has uh, won at least one uh, title in all those years. That's the reason there are three entries. And here we can see for 2017, there are two, uh, two championships he won and coming to 28 it's one coming to 29 it's two so this is how we have uh, uh, you know aggregated uh, uh, the championship uh, based on you know a year for each player now what we can do is easily we can uh, perform the aggregation uh, based on uh, player id and this year total then it is going to give combined result so for that i'm going to perform simple group i i'm going to perform the group i based on the player id and player name then it is going to produce the expected result let me execute then we can see the output execution is completed here we can see player 3 no work the count is 4 and uh, player 2 it's 3 player 1 it's 5 this is the expected output i hope uh, you understood the second approach as well you know these are the two different approaches uh, we can uh, uh, solve this problem using spark sql and there are many more approaches as well uh, but uh, no, I have covered only these two different approaches in this uh, uh, video. But in case you find better approach, don't forget to put it in the comment box. Right. Now I am going to solve the same problem using PySpark. So for PySpark, I am going to perform the same step. First of all, I am going to split the data based on um, a year Wimbledon, year French Open, year US Open, year Australian Open. Then based on the union all, I am going to combine everything. So this is going to give intermediate result set for me. This is basically converting my horizontal data into vertical. Now it's done. We, here we can see the output. It is having year and player. Now I am going to perform simple group I. So for that group I, I am going to use uh, uh, aggregate function group I based on the player. I am going to perform the aggregation. Once the aggregation is completed, in order to get the player name, again I am joining based on the player table, player uh, place uh, data frame, based on this uh, player ID. Uh, inner gen I am going to perform then finally I am selecting only player ID player name grand slam count which we are interested in so let me execute so this is going to give final output in expected format so execution is completed here we can see uh, our intermediate result CTAE2 that has performed the aggregation and uh, the final result uh, DF it has produced the output of player ID player name and uh, grand slam this is how we can solve this um, problem using PySpark and SQL. I hope you understood. Hope you enjoyed and like this uh, video. In case you like the content of this video, please like and comment in the channel. Also subscribe this channel. Don't forget to click on the bell button to get latest videos and updates on Databricks and Spark. Thank you.